God bless you, dear students. Today I will teach you about the poem "Whose Place Is It Anyway," and it is written by Martin Kisko. So first of all, let's know about the poet. Uh, he is a composer and a screenwriter. He has composed over two hundred scores for film and television. and released eight albums he is popularly known as the uk's green poet so whose place is it anyways from his collection of poems green poems for a blue planet so okay now here i'm going to recite the poem for you the golden mole is threatened by the workings of a mind The pine martin and pole cat live on borrowed time. Hippos cannot hide from illegal poachers' guns. Do the cheetahs of Botswana watch their last setting suns? So here yeah, in this stanza, workings of a mine means excavation in the earth to extract coal or other minerals. The golden mole is severely affected by mining operations. and the next word pine martin means an animal from north europe about the size of a domestic cat now next stanza as arctic ice dissolves the polar bears decline can the wolves of ethiopia trust humankind will the white tip shark and angel shark avoid the fishing trout how soon until the mapengo tree takes its final fall so trout means a type of net used for fishing and mapingo tree means very dense and durable tree that grows in the woodlands of africa next stanza the manta ray is troubled by pollution of the waters while cats of the andes escape from its slaughter while the jaguar outturn the hunters coal pursue can we save our ponds for the great crested newt So in this stanza, the word "cold" means here heartless, and the "newt" means a lizard-like creature, bright in color. Okay, now will snakes find their lairs as habitat turns to road? Does a parking lot come first, or the puto riken toad? Will koalas in their hollow survive the ruthless logging? Shall we bother to find out, or is that just too much slogging? Okay, so here in this stanza, the word slogging means too much effort. Okay, now let's see the last stanza. Why don't we remember those with whom we share the earth, and why won't we honor and value their true worth? we can't let our best friends simply vanish without trace so let's work together and restore their rightful place so the word without trace means with no sign of their existence so here and uh, in this thought provoking poem uh, the poet wants to alarm us about deforestation and uh, he showed us how we humans are destroying the blessing of nature by cutting the trees and making the malls parking slots and many more so uh, the other creatures that live in the forest are losing their place and um, the poet tells about the koala moles uh, uh, jaguar of the amazon and american hippo that uh, all are extinct and uh, so the poet discussed the destructive activities of man uh, like mining poaching pollution hunting and logging and uh, also touches upon the ill effect of global warming and, uh, and then he ends with a warning about the need for humans to remember that the earth is a uh, shared space and in this way the writers plead to us that we need to stop deforestation 
and conserve some of what is left to us so the poet uh, reminds uh, humans of the need to value the other creatures also and so he has given the message about the animals and trees under threat of extinction due to human activities so now here question and answers are going to display for you So children, your homework is once uh, recite the poem and uh, as usual, learn the word meanings, okay? And uh, then learn and write the question and answers in your notebook. So that's all. And uh, one thing more, uh, I want to suggest you that uh, just keep revising the work from the first chapter onwards, okay? So enjoy also but be careful about your studies it's okay all the best